Okay. This is better. Well, what I've learned with these cheetahs, I haven't seen them often hunting big herds during the daylight hours like this. They usually do it after dark when they can create more confusion. But what we can expect to see is the cheetahs are almost running in like dogs. And once the wildebeest start running and the cheetahs start running in and amongst them, they can almost herd a youngster away or peel a youngster off, push a youngster away from the rest of the herd and take it down. So they may at any moment charge in and start hunting these wildebeest not hugely dissimilar to a pack of wild dogs what an awesome scene Hello, Indiana Brian. I'm just going to move forward a little bit so we don't get left in the dust if they do, in fact, decide to chase. Um, you would like to know what is the success rate of this coalition of cheetah. And in my presence and history with them, they've had almost 100% success rate. Whenever they've tried to catch something, they've succeeded. And that's why I was very surprised that we didn't see them on top of a wildebeest by the time we got you, because they'd been chasing them for quite some time. And I think they are about to launch another attack now. That one in the front is looking like it's rearing to go. But they obviously just haven't singled out a youngster that they are comfortable to take down. It's not to say that they can't take down larger wildebeest. They have been known to take down bigger wildebeest, not just the youngsters. Let's keep moving. It's always tricky to know where to position the vehicle in situations like this, and we always want to be a bit sensitive so this is how it starts once the herd start running and creating a little bit of chaos that is when we can expect to see great things I'm gonna to have to keep moving because I think these are the initial parts of the chase that will only start escalating in a short short while and once things do fully escalate then I will stop the vehicle. Oh, it's such a toss-up as to what to do. Okay, this is it. I'm going to keep an eye on the others. You've got that one there. Perfect. The others, you're still on the best option for now. The others are all lagging behind. No joy. Not enough chaos created. But they're trying. And they're hungry. And I'm very, very happy that we are here to be able to experience this. Like I said, this is a first for me to see them hunting a large herd like this in broad daylight. And it's proving a lot more tricky for them than it is when they hunt them at dusk or dawn. Okay, I need to keep moving. Oh, the other cheetah's going in there on the left. It's going charging in. Oh. Oh, it's going for the topi. Can you see, see the topi? Just put your head up onto the topi. The topi, topi, topi. It's coming uh, straight away. But it's not over yet. They've got a lot of work still to do to subdue this topi. But I think now that all of them are on it, it is do doomed. Let's see what happens here. How incredible was that? They saw the topi, it stood out from the rest, and they...
gunned it down. Well done there, Jar, on finally finding it. It's so tricky when there's so many predators in different areas to know where to put the camera, but you got in there just in time. Look at all the wildebeest coming and running in now. There's one cheetah just off to the right that's going to try and keep them at bay. And isn't it an incredible display of this topi strength that's taken five cheetah or four cheetah quite some time to subdue it and it's still standing up but I fear that it is just pure like simply outpowered here and overnumbered or outnumbered and overpowered rather <laughs> Whew. Well, wish I knew what my heart rate was. That was very, very exciting. And isn't it fascinating how quickly they managed to succeed after so nonchalantly walking around, having a look at the herds. They saw that opportunity, and I wonder if it was because the topi just stood out so, so much from the rest of the herd that they decided to attack it. I mean, it's not as big as a wildebeest, the topi, but certainly bigger than a young wildebeest, which there are a few of in this herd, but maybe it was just difficult for them to work out which one to go for. Now, are there any other predators that have been spying on the scene unfolding? Is a lion going to come charging in? Are some hyena going to come charging in? Only time will tell. Let's get a little bit closer, though. Whew! Well, awesome, awesome stuff. Not for the topi, for the cheetah, of course, and for us. Because to be in the right place at the right time to be able to witness something like that is very, very fortunate and something that doesn't happen every day so if this is your first live safari you've got off to a very very lucky start one thing we have learned is that one individual is certainly the master of the coup de grace and that is D'Artagnan. We were discussing earlier if he's the lead hunter, and no, he's not always the lead hunter. But almost every time we've come across them making kills, he is almost always the one who administers the chokehold, which he continues to do now as the others begin to feed. And this meal, provided it doesn't get stolen by any other predators, is going to provide these five boys with a wonderful, wonderful meal. So they're going to be nice and full-bellied after this. I'm told a lot of you are still in awe of what we've just witnessed. And yes, it certainly was a very exciting event. We've got a visitor coming onto the scene. If you just zoom out a bit more... There's an ostrich who's decided to come and spectate, so it's all happening here in the Masai Mara. Action unfolding everywhere, and this place is really one of a kind. The spectacles that we get to share and witness with you are quite something. Well done, D'Artagnan. I'm doing the hard work and putting this topi out of its misery as fast as you possibly could.
It's a very, very windy day, so you can probably hear everything flapping around. And I'm very, very happy that we got to share that incredible action with you guys. But now we are going to be sending you off to Tristan, who's found another interesting animal. I have.